All right, so in this video, we're going to make it so that we can submit posts through our add post form, um, submit it to our database. All right, so I'm, I'm on the add post.php page, which is in the admin folder. All right, and I'm going to open that up in Notepad. Now, what we're going to do is you can see the form attribute action we have going to add underscore post.php which is the file that we're currently in. All right, so what we need to do is test to see if the form has been submitted. All right, so what I'm gonna do is open up, actually, I'm gonna do this above this code block. Okay, I'm gonna create a new PHP code block. All right, and to check and see if this form was submitted, we're gonna check for the submit button. Okay, and we can access it through its name, which is submit. All right, and we're going to use the is set function. So we're going to say if is set, and we're going to put in post submit. All right, so we're checking to see if the submit button was clicked. All right, so let's just test this out. Uh, we'll say we'll just say die and we'll give off a message the submit button was pressed all right so if we save this and we go ahead and reload the add post form nothing happens okay but if we go ahead and submit the form it dies and gives us this message all right so that's how we can differentiate um, which functionality to run because if we post it we want obviously we want stuff to happen we want to um, make an insert into the database if it's not clicked then obviously we just want to display the form alright so let me get rid of this and what I want to do next is I want to assign some of the post variables alright so let's get the title Okay, so this variable is going to be set to post title. All right, so there's a lot of different things that you can do to, um, I guess, add security to your script. Um, there's, a, there's a few different functions and methods you can use. Um, I'm going to use what's called MySQLi real escape string and what that does is it's going to escape any characters uh, that could be harmful that someone could could submit all right um, so I'm going to wrap this post in that function okay so it's going to be um, mysql i real escape string okay and we'll pass this in all right but the first parameter needs to be our connection all right, um, our database connection. So we actually need to move this, the database object, up to the top. And I want to put it so that it's not um, inside of the if post statement because we need to access the, the object down here as well. All right, um, so the connection is going to be db link. All right, now let's just give this a, a test and echo out title and then we'll die. Okay. Okay, so let's just put something in here submit and we get something so we're gonna get the rest of our post variables so we get title we have body All right, uh, category. Auth 
there. Tags. All right, so we've assigned all of our variables. Uh, what we want to do next is I'm going to do some very, very simple validation. We don't want the user to be able to submit in empty form, so we're going to have a few required fields. Okay, so we're just going to create an if statement. Uh, we're going to say if title is equal to nothing. And let's see, body. We want these fields to be required. Um, category. This should be a comma. Um, an author. I'm sorry, these shouldn't be commas. <laughs> these should be ors. All right, so you need the double pipes or. Okay, so and then we'll do author. Okay, so basically we're saying if title, body, category, or author are empty, then we want to do something. Okay, and what we're going to do is just set an error. And this is just going to say, please fill out all required fields. All right, and then we're going to say else. Okay, so if these are no, none of these are empty, then I'm going to create a query, and this is going to be an insert query. So we're going to say insert into posts, and we want to put the columns we want to enter our values in, which will be title, body, category, author, and tags. All right, and then we're going to say values. Okay, so values, we're going to have title, Basically, just all our variables. Body. Category is going to be an integer. So we actually don't need the quotes. All right, and then we have author. And tags. All right, so that's our query. Now we need to run it. Okay, so I'm actually going to just say insert row equals DB query. query and I think that should do it but the way we have the um, actually this needs to be DB insert the way we have the class set up I'm just gonna open up the database class and we're calling insert alright so basically it's gonna do the query and then then it's going to check it and if it goes through then it's going to relocate us to uh, the index page along with a message variable alright so let's just give this a try okay I'm just going to say test post category let's 
say tutorials. Okay, submit unknown column tutorials. Okay, so something's wrong with our query. Ah, we. Okay, so it's getting the category name. We need it to be the category ID. So let's go back. Let's go down here in the add post. And for our select. Actually, hold on a second here. All right, so we don't have a value for our option. All right, so we need to add value. And this needs to be the ID. So PHP echo row ID, because we need to submit the category ID. All right, so let's do that. Let's go back and tr try this again. All right. Wow, I wasn't expecting it to, to work. I figured we'd have to do a little debugging, but um, looks good. So now we have our test posts. We have the category, the author. If we click on it, it has everything that we just entered. Now what we need is a, a message saying that a post was submitted. Okay, so you can't see it now because I already I left the page. But once we were redirected, we had a get variable uh, for a message, something like message. Um, post added okay something like that so we want to grab that and output that to the user after submission um, so what we're going to do is I'm going to open up the header okay so this is the admin header all right and down at the bottom here we want to test and see if the get variable um, is is there Okay, so we'll say PHP if get. Remember, it's get if it's in the URL. It's post if it's if it's from a form. All right, so get MSG Uh, actually, we want to check and see if it's set. So we want to use is set. Surround that with the is set function. Okay, so if it's set, then we want to display a div with the class of alert and then alert success, I think. That's going to make it green. Yeah. All right, and then inside of that, we just want to have the actual message. So PHP echo get MSG. All right, so that'll give us the error. And I want to use a, a, a security function around this called HTML entities. And basically, it's just going to prevent people from adding harmful um, tags and stuff like that. All right, so that should do it. Um, save that. All right, so now what I want to do is the same thing we did for add post, but for add category. All right, so that we can add category. So I'm going to open that up. And this is going to be very similar, so I'm actually going to copy. Um, let's see. I'm actually going to just copy this whole thing. Okay, I'm going to paste that right here. All right, so we're checking for the submit button, okay, which is here. And all we want is the name. All right, so that's really the only variable we need. So I'll get rid of all those. 
and let's change this to name. Change this to name. Okay, and name is going to be required. We can get rid of all the rest of these. And if it's not, we're going to get the error. And if it is filled in, then we're going to do the query. So into categories. All right, and then we can get rid of all these. And we just want name. And then we can get rid of all these. And we just want name. And then we're going to say update row equals db update. All right, so save that. And basically, if we look at our database class, okay, just like the insert query, this is going to redirect us. All right, and it's going to also add the MSG variable, which we already have in the header. Okay, the header file is checking for this, and if it has it, it's going to just display it for us. So let's go ahead and try this. If we go to add category, we'll say test category, submit, and we get record updated, and then you can see down here we have test category. Okay. So everything's working pretty good. Uh, one thing I, I want to do is when we submit something, I want it to be at the top, not down at the bottom. All right, so all we need to do is change the order inside of our select query. Okay, so let's go to index PHP inside of our admin folder. 